Now we're looking to construct a length of root 6 over 4. Well, to find that root 6, we could follow our spiral. But if we stop to think about it, if we have a right angle here, and this length is root 2, then for this to be root 6, this length would have to be root 4, or just plain old 2. So if we can construct a triangle with uh, our correct unit lengths, with two units there and root 2 here, we've got root 6. So you can just see, I think, that we've got um, an arrangement, one, two, three units here, which is going to be useful. Let's work on that uh, left hand, right hand side first. There's a unit. I've constructed a right angle. So now I'm going to draw an arc. And I know that this length here, from there to there, is a root two. So I can simply draw that in. Nicely done. Now, how am I going to make my triangle? Well, I've also arranged there to be a right angle, a point immediately above here, by a, perp a, a perpendicular bisector. So if I can now stretch my compass out, and this may be a little tricky for some people. There we are. Now I've got my root 2 on that length there, and I have my root 6. Good. Now I need to bisect that twice, and uh, so I'll set about doing that. Here we are, one and two, that's my first bisection. And then I'm going to want a second bisection. make sure this is more than half the length from there to there and now if I draw this in there we are that's the length that's required and um, I take that length and wherever I've got a unit, for instance over here, I can draw that arc and that arc and that's the required triangle for the net of an inner tetrahedron. That's quite a bit of geometry but we've constructed it, this is what's required.